Saludos amigos, ¿cómo están? Nuevamente Daniel Sicard, your teacher, enseñándoles y compartiendo con ustedes eh, distintos conceptos de distintos temas, muy interesantes todos, que los van a acompañar en su proceso de aprendizaje del idioma inglés. Hoy nuevamente con un tema bastante interesante, muy importante, es el tema de used to, ¿sí? de los tres used to's que podemos encontrar o un solo justo, la idea es que igual ustedes empiecen a manejar estos conceptos y los entiendan de una forma práctica, de una forma dinámica. Right? So we are, we still work on the B1 level topics. O sea, son niveles B1, tratamos de regularlos de acuerdo, ¿no? To the European Common Frame, ¿no? Marco Común Europeo y we want to share with you today used to, ¿ok? Lo que es... Eh, la figura used to in grammar, or how do we use used to on your daily basis. So we're going to start. Remember always to check our videos in order to improve. Check movies with subtitles or without subtitles. Check news and repeat them over and over again until you get the information. There is no other way to learn this. It's about repetition, it's about constant immersion right on this so I want you to be just very focused and uh, be very constant so used to is the topic that we have in this image this beautiful image is actually very attractive this map very clear right? very effective so used to. la forma no the used to form so we have used to as an affirmative or in affirmative sentence in an affirmative sentence in a negative sentence and in a question, right? Used to, this used to, we use it for situations, right? That you did in the past, situations that started in the past and stayed in the past. Son situaciones que comenzaron en el pasado y se quedaron en el pasado. Situations that stayed in the past, started in the past and stayed in the past, okay? Situaciones que comenzaron en el pasado y se quedaron en el pasado. That's it. Finalizaron en el pasado. They ended in the past. So used to. The affirmative, for example, with the subject pronoun I. Let's go with the personal pronoun or the subject pronoun I, right? So we have I used to play soccer. Following these examples. I used to play soccer is yo solía jugar fútbol, right? I used to play soccer. That's the affirmative. In a negative way, as you can see it in the red arrow, arrow es flecha. How do we spell arrow? A for apple, R for Romeo, R for Romeo, right? Or red, it's, it depends on your international phonetic alphabet, but you all must build one. Remember to spell the alphabet. I always say this in my programs or in our theater from our channel. Do that at home or wherever you are, okay? For the negative, you use didn't used to. So I didn't used to play soccer. So you never take it, you never took it as a habit. You never took it as a habit. Nunca lo tomaste como un hábito, ¿no? So I didn't used to play soccer is because you never liked it, maybe. See? Nunca te gustó, entonces por eso no solía usted nunca practicarlo. You didn't used to play soccer. And the question, did you used to play soccer? Right? Maybe someone wants to know if at any point in your life you learned how to play soccer or you played soccer. So did you used to play soccer? And as you can see, you don't use in question when you use did. You don't you avoid the letter D for doctor. Used to in affirmative has the D, but if you use it with didn't or with did, asking a question, you don't have to use it. Why? Because that auxiliary gives you or just let you avoid that. Okay? So, uh, did you used to play? Now, in this case, with go. Right? Now, let's go with go and let's just check that little circle with the thumbs up. No? Did you, do you see the thumb up? That thumb up sign tell us you can always use past simple instead of used to, right? 
Ok, so it's up to you. So usted quiere usar simple past, but used to is another form. Now we go, so I used to go to church. Maybe you don't go anymore. Lo más seguro es que usted ya no va a la iglesia, porque en el momento que usted dice I used to go to church, está diciendo yo solía ir a la iglesia. So it's a situation that started in the past and ended in the past. Y terminó en el pasado. I used to go to church. I didn't used to go to church. Ok. No, you didn't have that habit. No tenía ese hábito. But probably right now in the present, you are interested no, in going to church. De pronto ya usted sí quiere ir a la iglesia. So, you didn't used to go to church, but now you start, you're going to start, you will start going to church. Okay? That's a possibility. And the question, did you used to go to church? To see if you did that or if you went to church before. Perfect. Now we continue with the verb swim, right? I used to swim into, I used to swim in, 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 in a lake or I used to swim in the sea. But I don't know, maybe you got scared because a shark was approaching you or something. And yeah, you used to swim in the sea, but after that event, you you don't want to, to know you don't want to know anything about swimming into the sea. Okay? Didn't I didn't used to swim in the sea? So the opposite. You didn't used to swim in the sea because you were afraid of the sea. Then you used miedo al mar, pero ahora you will probably swim into the sea, but you didn't used to swim in the sea. And the question, did you used to swim in the sea? Solía nadar en el mar. Did you used to swim in, in the sea? Yes. Yes, I used to swim in the sea. Just for find out that information. If you, if you used to swim, okay, into the sea. Eso es básicamente el, el uso de make. No? We have the verb make. I used to make pancakes. Maybe you burned your hand preparing them in the kitchen and you used to but now you don't do it anymore. I didn't used to make pancakes but now you learned because you know the recipe, you know how to prepare them. So now it's possible that you start that you start doing it. Did you used to make your own breakfast? Solías hacer tu propio desayuno. Did you used to make your own breakfast? No, my mom eh, always did it. Siempre lo hizo. Y ahí está el cambio, ¿no? used to a simple past because you can always use it. See, my mom used to make my breakfast, for So, the answer means that you. Did you used to, for example, did you used to teach English? I didn't used to teach English uh, through videos, right? But now I'm doing it, for example. You see? I didn't used to do it, but now I'm doing it. So, if, did you used to teach English somewhere or did you used to teach maths, you guys? Ask yourself, okay? Pregúntense a sí mismo, ask yourself. And now with the rest of the verbs, no? Study and buy, you handle the same rule, right? You used to buy clothes all the time. Usted solía comprar ropa todo el tiempo. You used to buy clothes all the time. She didn't used to buy uh, electronics or she didn't used to buy new te technology or latest technology. She didn't used to buy latest technology. She didn't used to buy magazines, okay? But now probably she buys magazines, okay? Did you used to buy clothes all the time? Did you used to buy clothes all the time? No, I didn't, but now I like it and I, I will buy clothes all the time. Para la siguiente imagen vamos a analizar some other examples, see? Maybe uh, where you, you can see some gaps filled, when they fill some gaps. So it says complete the sentences with the correct form of used to. Completemos las siguientes oraciones con la forma correcta de used to, with the correct form of used to. And the verb in brackets. Y, los, y, y como tal el verbo en los paréntesis, ¿no? So I didn't used to watch is the correct form, no? I didn't used to watch, did not. Cuando les piden not, 
and the verb, it means you have to conjugate it either with verb to be or verb to do. So I didn't used to watch, I did not used to watch, you, you take out the D, didn't used to watch the news, but now I watch it every day. Ahora sí es una rutina, ya es parte de pronto de un hábito. Pero ahora ya las veo todos los días. I watch it every day. My aunt used to drink a lot of coffee. Mi tía solía tomar bastante café. My aunt used to drink a lot of coffee. But now she prefers to drink tea. Pero ahora ya prefiere tomar como tal té. But now she prefers, prefers always the third person. You add a change in the verb. Remember that. Always remember that. Have that. We used to live in a flat. So digamos vivir en un apartamento. A flat is more like a studio apartment or something not that big. But we live but we live in a big house now. Pero ahora vivimos en una casa muy grande. But we live in a big house now. You see? Did you used to go to school on food? Solías ir al colegio a pie? Did you used to go to school on foot? Okay, so did you go to school on Okay, maybe you can say, no, I didn't. My mom always took me, siempre me llevó in her car, okay. Or yes, I did. I used to go on foot. We didn't used to like, no nos piden not and like. So the negative goes with verb to do. In past, porque estamos hablando de algo que no se solía hacer. We didn't used to like, no solíamos, no nos solía gustar. We didn't used to like each other, no solíamos gustarnos. We didn't used to like each other. But now we are good friends. Pero ahora somos muy buenos amigos. I didn't used to eat vegetables. No solía comer vegetales. I didn't used to eat vegetables. Now I eat them every day. Pero ahora los como todos los días. Now I eat them every day. My sister used to play the piano, right? Mi hermana, my sister used to play the piano, but now she doesn't. Si ven, lo más seguro es que es algo que termina en el pasado. My sister used to play the piano, but now she doesn't. Solía tocar el piano, pero ya no lo hace. They used to spend, solían gastar their weekends in the countryside. La parte country. They, o en la parte campestre, right? They used to spend their weekends in the countryside. In a country house, que puede ser una finca or a farm. They don't do it anymore. Ya no lo hace. So as you can see, today we analyzed used to is one of the, is one of the forms because we have three different forms and uh, we will just share those forms with you guys. This is the first form, which is a situation that started in the past and it might not continue in the present. It doesn't continue in the present. So I want you just to stay connected with us. Que estén siempre conectados con nosotros. Son temas de gran variedad. Justus es un tema muy importante. Tendremos el resto de los justus, por supuesto, compartiendo, compartiéndolos con ustedes. Stay connected. Please subscribe, right? Subscribe to our channel. Post your comments. Leave your comments because we want to improve every day with everyday English or English for with different topics or everyday topics about English for you guys so leave us your comments they will be very helpful and, and just try to watch movies read news and be surrounded by English I always say this but it's very important practice over and over again with our videos and we just keep in touch with you guys My name is Daniel Sicar. We will bring some other topics. Les queríamos trayendo temas de gran interés. Esto fue used to, parte de, de su uso y en, en, en la correcta comprensión de este tema. Seguiremos conectados con ustedes y en una próxima oportunidad compartiremos, por supuesto, grandiosos temas para, para continuar con los siguientes niveles. Daniel Sicar, that was all for today and thank you very much for watching us.